Hi Jacqueline and hi Lake. So why don't we start about talking about your travel? We went to pass the chicken bus and boom, we blew a tire. Hi, we're the Garnermans. We quit our nine to fives packed up the bare necessities, loaded up our kiddos and dogs, and chose to live our lives a little differently. Come share our adventure with us as we spend the next little while exploring the San Juan del Sur area of Nicaragua. Good morning, everybody. We're in the gorgeous San Juan del Sur. We're here very nearby the Chocolata. Really, we are on the Chocolata. And here with me today is Jacqueline and Lee. Okay. They're going to tell us about their experience of traveling during COVID to Nicaragua. So, why don't you introduce yourselves and give us some thoughts about your travel to Nicaragua during COVID. Yeah, uh, I'm Lee. This is Jacqueline. We already, uh, you guys already know. Uh, we're a family of four that have traveled from uh, Ontario, Canada, about an hour north of Toronto. And, uh, yeah, we're coming down to, down to Nicaragua. So, as as far as the COVID stuff goes, uh, there's definitely some travel restrictions that were put in place. Uh, airlines aren't traveling uh, as much as they were pre-COVID and, and pre-lockdown. So there was definitely some challenges we had as far as trying to book a flight down here and coordinate everything that's going on with uh, the COVID, uh, the PCR test that's required, required for here. So Jacqueline actually did the booking for the flights, a lot of the research for that. I don't know if you want to talk about sure. that. Sure. So because we had two dogs with us, we had to sort of juggle around where, what flight we were going to book with because a lot of uh, airlines aren't taking pets right now. So we managed to find a WestJet flight that flew into Fort Lauderdale and we ended up uh, putting both dogs in the same kennel because we ended up booking the last spot for the kennel on the flight and it worked out perfectly. The whole process worked smoothly, seamlessly. And we had a week-long layover in Miami, mm -hmm. where a week later we flew out from Miami. Is into... that where you took your PCR test? I'm sorry? That's, That's where you so, took Yeah, so yeah. we took, uh, on the Wednesday morning, we took our PCR test, and we got the results Thursday mid-morning and sent them off to, uh, we used Pacific Tours to book our charter through because they were uh, the ones that were willing to take the dogs on the flight as well. The problem with Avianca was that uh, our one dog was too big. She was too heavy to get onto their plane, so we had to book charter. Okay. So we, uh, we sent all of our result stuff off to the, off to PC, uh, the Pacific Tours. Yep. Uh -huh. And we, it, again, that, that flight went seamlessly as well. Everything went nice and smooth, and customs was customs once we got into, into the, the airport. Yeah. And, it was, uh, it went really It was really good, smooth. even the mask wearing, as far as the COVID goes, you had to have it in the airport. Right. Uh, you had to have it on the plane. Uh, we noticed that WestJet, when we made that first loop, was very strict about the mask wearing on plane, where the uh, Eastern Airlines, and when we flied with the charter, they still wanted you to wear it, but they were definitely saying if you need to eat or drink, you can pull down your mask. Oh, well, that was nice. <laughs> right. you, could, like, you, could, you could do it on the first flight we had with WestJet as well, but they were very strict with people about yeah. making sure that mask was up, up and covered. And then so. at the airport, of course, you had to wear it while we were in there. And There was also an announcement made too on the WestJet flight where if you were asked too many times not to have or with your mask down and to put it back up that you would be put on a no-fly list. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so they were okay. very, very strict, very, uh, I wouldn't say uncomfortable, but it was, you had to, you just had to make sure you you were doing what you needed to do, right? They made the rules clear. Well, that's good. And when they're yeah. clear, uh, you know, it is what yeah. it is. You take or you don't take. Yeah. So, good, good. So that was a good introduction. I know you posted something on Facebook about your travel. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is in this video, I'm literally going to uh, put on the description below it, I'm gonna put the whole content of your write-up, sure. which was an awesome write-up, which I told you I'm gonna yeah. be using for our first publication of Nick and Nuggets that we're gonna be doing uh, at the end of the month, right? Yeah, good. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate that conversation on COVID during travel to Nicaragua. <laughs> you look a 
Uh, you saw what I did? I just had my hand slide away. Okay, that's life. <laughs> So we got howler monkeys. We're driving down the road, leaving Ra Ramonza, and we bumped into Julie and Charles here and family, <laughs> and they were blocking our way. And now we see why, because we got monkeys up in the trees. Howler monkeys. So we were just leaving Playa uh, Ramonzo. No, uh, Ramonzo. Ramonzo. And uh, we came across the howler monkeys. Oh, and blocking our way was our friends uh, Charles and Julie. So they have invited us up to their place, which is nice. They got a really nice spot. I've seen it when we were out on the ocean fishing. And uh, this is their trip around the mountain to get to their place. How do you tighten the seatbelt? Stop! <laughs>
Yeah, this is their uh, this is their living room. <laughs> nice walk through infinity pool. You're kidding. And this is their this is their uh, wow. Rough. Looking back in on those. Hola, here's where we are having Konya up some hill, down some beach, quite a ways from San Juan. This is uh, this is rough. I I don't know. Like I could be on Ontario uh, doing the cold thing. Just sun there. Again, we're at our friend Charles and Julie, Charles and Julie's place, and uh, it's just getting it's getting some work done here on it. They got some parrots and some stuff. And just down uh, here behind us, a survivor Nicaragua is filmed out this way. Very far from the beach. Close to where Survivor was built. Yeah, it was just down the beach here, right? Right over this way. Right, right, right that way. Actually. Yeah. So I don't know. If they're telling me it was just one beach to the south here. And you can see behind me. We got uh, way off there behind me is Costa Rica. So we're not very far from the border to Costa Rica. And those rocks, I believe, were on the far side of. Uh, I forget what season of Survivor it was, but there was two seasons done back to back. They were done on the same beach, just on the other side. Uh, I'll update which one that was. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But yeah, there's uh, an infinity pool. You can sort of see the wall there behind me. Uh, just a gorgeous spot. Well, we're gonna uh, we're gonna hang out here. And I got my driver, and uh, we're gonna chill. It's gonna be rough. Got more texture for sure. I like the color of the green though too. I have no idea where we are. We're with Bonnie Heyman of our Plan B group, and uh, we're out looking to pick up furniture. I guess she wants some couch and stuff.
Coming up to Rivis. Lee went to Lee went to pass the chicken bus and boom we blew a tire. Kudos to Lee Lo, though he uh, we were on the other side of the road. Stay off the road. Okay. On the other side of the road. We had to control it. And he controlled us all the way over to the right side of the road with a flat tire. I will Give you uh, something. Thankfully, we stopped here in front of this house, and this man's been incredibly helpful so far. He's bringing out a bigger jack for us. Um, we're uh, oh, it's your. <laughs> we're trying to change a tire on the side of one of the busiest highways in Nicaragua. Fun times. Fun times. Ty's still in the truck. This gentleman has been very kind. And he's passing that bus, man. That was sketchy. Like we were right beside a chicken bus and boom! Megan's screaming in the back. The dogs are flying. <laughs> the women are crying. It was bad. We, got it. <laughs> we would have ended up in the ditch had Lee not kept control of it. It was quite remarkable. This this truck's hard to drive already. The steering's super loose, and it was uh, it was tough on Lee getting us back over. But here we are. We're almost done. We're not going to Tola. We're going to change the tire We're gonna go back and go beverage. back home, have a beverage, and call Carlos. Call Carlos. Get a refund. <laughs> 